Welcome everybody. My name is Dave. I'm a full stack developer and this is my approach to a JavaScript coding bootcamp assignment. Node.js and MySQL Amazon store admin app. This is the minimum requirement level. There are a few prerequisites that you may need to begin. In this example, I'm using map server to run the MySQL and MySQL Workbench to create and manage all of my SQL's queries from. We will begin by creating our products table and inserting the data we want. Please note that in my version, I will be using a department ID column instead of a department name column. This is because I will be setting up my product table to use with the manager level table in the future. You can just change this column to department name varchar30 not null for the data type. Let's begin. All right, first we need to create our database. So we will do that. I must refresh, there we go. And there it is. The database has been created. We always have to sort of begin by picking the database that we are going to use. So use Amazon DB. I'm going to run it here and it has been selected. So now I'm going to go ahead and create my products table. I've already typed it out. So here it's create table products. So let's go ahead and create this table. All right, let's go ahead and select all and press the execute button, which is the lightning bolt button. Okay, we always have to refresh and the table has been filled with the products table right there. So let's go ahead and clear this. Now that we have a table, there's nothing in it though. So we need to fill it with our products. In my case, I picked a bunch of DJ equipment, microphones, cords, uh, noise reduction filters, and mixers. So here it is, use the insert into products and determine what the values are. And within each of these, we have our items. So let's go ahead and select all and run it. Refresh. Now let's go ahead and check our products table to make sure that everything was entered correctly. Okay, there it is. We have our three microphones in department one with their pricing and the quantity. And same with the noise reduction filters and the mixers and the cords. Okay, it looks like our database is ready to use. Now that we have our database installed and working, we're going to need to install our M NPM packages. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we go into our terminal here and I'm going to do this. NPM install. I'm going to, we're going to install MySQL inquirer and CLI table two. Let's give it a shot. The packages are installing now. Okay, it looks like all three have been added. Let's go ahead and clear that to give us a clean work area. As you can see here, it's it's added a few more files and all of our modules here, CLI table two, inquirer, and MySQL. The packages have been installed successfully. Let's go ahead and start creating our JavaScript files. So let's first make our Amazon customer JavaScript file. Now 
And as you can see here, it's been created. So I'm going to select that. Next, we will begin by connecting our required packages. Next, we'll make our connection variable connect to our MySQL database. Now in these settings, I just went ahead and left most of these blank. You can fill these in with whatever username and password you are using for your database. Now that that's complete, we are going to need to call it. We will create a variable called display. This function will manage the connection query to MySQL and use CLI table 2 package to display the data tables nicely. Okay, we're using connection.query to connect to the database through a query. Next, we're going to create our table variable, which will connect to our CLI table. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go to the NPM package here. Go to the documentation. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab this example right here. and paste it right on in. And I'm gonna make a few alterations to fit what I need. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then we'll save it. Okay, now that that's been created, we're going to need to create our for loop. The for loop is going to use the length of the result and then push the product name and price. Okay, now that we have our for loop, let's go ahead and console log the table so we can see it. And then to be able to see it all, we have to call it. We go. All right, let's go ahead and test our display variable here. And it looks like we're getting a display from MySQL. It's just a simple query that we're running here with the connection query string. And you'll notice the decorations that I put here with the console.log. 
and then we use the table to display the data in. Next we're going to create the shopping variable that will handle all of the other functions that we need. Now let's create our variable called shopping. We will use Inquirer to prompt the user through a series of questions to select which product and how many to purchase. Okay, now that we have our input, let's go ahead and create our answer in, uh, in a then. We use the connection.query to connect the query to the database. Now this if statement here will go ahead and handle the error if they select something that is not on the list. And we'll go ahead and call it. We're going to go ahead and give this a test. We're going to go ahead and select number four. And it says it's okay. We're able to get to the else statement that we're about to build out. Okay, let's go ahead and clear our area. Now we'll go ahead and use Inquirer to build our quantity input. Let's go ahead and create our, our second answer and if statement that will handle the quantity if uh, we don't have enough in the database. And now we have to uh, call it. Now we're going to go ahead and console log a few things out. Our product name, our price, and our quantity. This variable will update the stock quantity in the database.
Go ahead and save that. Okay, let's go ahead and test the app to see if it works. Let's look at our database right now. This is our quantities and our prices. Uh, let's go ahead and focus on number one. I have 18 in there right now. So what I'm gonna do, we'll go ahead and select number one. How many would I like? I'll select two. It's telling me I selected two microphones at $69.95. The order has been processed. Thank you very much. Let's check the database. We will rerun this select query on the product table. And notice two have been deducted. So the Bamazon customer page is working correctly. You'll find these files in the description down below. Please subscribe.